Welcome to this Windows channel and here is a multimedia player that I've uh, downloaded and tried thanks to a few viewers on the channel that were mentioning this player that they've been using. I downloaded this player and tried it uh, to see how it works. Um, this is KM player version 3.9 and I'll be posting the link to the download or to the page. All you do is download here, download now from CNET on the right side. Uh, they do say that it does not have any adware, malware or anything and effectively when you install it nothing bad is installed with it and I like that uh, even though it's a free player available in 35 languages apparently so uh, pretty interesting to see that. Um, once you download it well you get this simple little icon here which is KM player and uh, it's a nice little player actually. Um, they do mention that this player is optimized for HD content which is quite interesting and apparently can play even HD 3D files so uh, that's very very interesting um, and I'll be testing that out by the way because I want to test this player with the pod player with a VLC try to see which one has the best um, video playback in HD content and I'll be uh, looking at a concert closely on my 50-inch uh, TV screen to see if one is better than the other uh, in playing content. One thing for sure, I've been having a little problem with KMP for DVD playback. It does not seem to load the menus very well, but my pot player does it very well. So um, there's a point there that I've given for pot player that I've uh, talked about last week. Uh, but for the rest, I've opened some HD files, I've opened some uh, content, and it, all the content worked really well. Um, of course, it wants you to add the KM player by default, so what it does, it actually changes the default apps. And so you can see in the settings that for uh, music, KM player, and video player are added as defaults for uh, these files. Now, um, playback of most of the files that I've tried, music and so on, worked well. Uh, like I said, the only thing that did, didn't seem to work really well was DVD. But for the rest, if you're not using DVDs, then it's not that much of a problem. The rest of the playback is interesting. Full menu, available to open the different formats. Open a DVD, a video CD, um, open... Uh, different files, even URLs, so that you can stream a video from a specific URL and so on. So there's a lot of uh, interesting things here. Uh, as you see here, you can set up and open, um, you know, for HDTV and stuff. There's a lot of options in this player, and it is one of the great players. When you right-click, another menu, lots of screen controls, uh, playback settings, subtitles, video, uh, basic and advanced uh, options audio and so on, 3D subtitle, 3D screen controls. Uh, it's a very, very complete player and in that respect it is more advanced than pod player that I've uh, actually talked about last week because it does seem to have much more options especially for all the HD content and the modern uh, multimedia files that we might have on a computer. Um, once it's downloaded, it installs very well, works very well in Windows 10 from what I see, and uh, actually is uh, very fast and a very nice player, doesn't take a lot of time to load. Like Pot Player, Pot Player is also an example. So if you're looking for multimedia apps that might suit your needs a little more, uh, KMP or KM Player seems to be another option for multimedia playback to replace the old. Uh, Windows Media Player, which is not, you know, I, I think it's really something of the past. And so uh, this is another thing that you can use for DVD playback and um, especially for iDef. Like I said, DVD didn't work well for me, but it might be, you know, I've tried it with two or three discs. Maybe it's something with my computer also. Maybe it's not everybody that has that problem, but uh, as for the HD files, it works really well. 
So uh, KM Player, if you want to download it, try it, and you know what, free of charge, so if you don't like it, you can uninstall it. If you're using it or if you have any comments on this video, please share it with us, and um, hopefully you enjoy my videos. If you do, please subscribe. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, it's always nice to have your feedback. And by the way, another thing about KMP is that it has uh, also mobile apps. So KMP can be downloaded for Android and uh, iOS. So it's uh, very, very nice that you can have this player and um, probably have sync capabilities between mobile devices and your computer with KMP. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.